Hello, welcome to my garage. Today we're going to build a jet pump on a surfboard. Uh, at the jet pump I have to build it from simple materials like sheets of aluminium, uh, 3D printed parts. The printer is working right now. I have an old brush cutter. This engine runs good, but the brush cutter does not work anymore because of a broken drive shaft. But for this jet pump, that's no problem. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. This is a sheet of aluminium uh, of about one and a half millimeters thick. I use a jigsaw for sewing it, cleaning up the edges. Bending it was pretty hard to do manually. But finally it got a pretty good shape. Here I check it with a 3D printed part. Next is a small plate to close up the bottom. Now I'm using jigsaw to make three circles. I could use a little bit thicker material, but I had this laying around. I wanted this to be a little bit thicker, so I could drill the hole and tap the holes for the bolts. Next is welding these three parts together. After welding I, I use this one to make the inside nice and smooth. And then welding it to the tube. This is the main part of the inlet. Well, it's time to drill the hole for the tube that holds the axle. Of course, I want it as good in line as possible with the bearings. So I've printed this template. I have my trusty tube toucher axle. It goes into my 3D printed template. That one's on. I have no play on it, it's a little bit tight. But I think it will work. 
Well, the preparation took a lot more time than the drilling itself. But it should now be perfectly aligned. I'm centering the shaft in the tube. I've made a 3D, 3D printed template to keep the shaft in place. And with the spacer in, I have enough clearance from the tube to the other tube that comes over here so the bearing can fit in between. It's a pressure bearing. It's starting to look like something. Let's weld this up and then uh, we'll take it from there. Well, let's see how far we get assembling it. I think I have most of the parts. I have a housing made for the pressure bearing. This is the pressure bearing. This one goes on prop side it's loose in here so it has play and when the propeller spins it pushes on the bearing theoretically this one fits in here then we have a housing for the bearing over here bearing is in already then we have the end piece the cone also with the bearing inside already I've made the shaft almost complete I took out this piece to get a flat end on it so it's grips the propeller. I've drilled in a small hole to get a lock onto the shaft so it can't fall out. On this side I have to decide how I connect this up to the engine. Uh, this one should fit. Uh, other way around. This should be about right. Yeah, the bearing is in. No, we'll see. It's blowing air.
Here I'm fine-tuning the hole. I placed also a little bit of wood inside. That's glued in so I can screw the inlet onto the wood. The foam is not that strong. I've also made a flange on the intake. And then I flipped it around and cut off the bottom side to make it flush with the bottom of the surfboard. Just one thing before it can be put in. I have these aluminium rods. I want to put two or three here to prevent heavy dirt from getting in. Now it's going in. I've used a little bit of sealer to close it all up. It's a tight fit. Putting in a few screws and then this part is done. Well, that's it for this video. We have the jet drive working with the power drill. It's uh, now time to put on an engine. We use the brush cutter for it, but that's for the next video. If you want to see it, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you on the next one.